Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to create pie chart in SSRS report. So let's go to the SSMS and take a look on our query. Here I'm selecting a region, country, item sold from DBO total sale table. And the region I will be displaying on the category. And then country I will be using as a series group and item sold I will use as a values. So let's take this query and create a report. Now go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and here I have already created a shared data source. So that's uh, pointing to my server and this is the name of the database. Click on the reports tab and go to add new item. Click on the report and provide the name. So in this case we are going to call this one pie chart. Hit add. Right click on the data sources or add data source and then provide the name. So we call this one DS sorry we call this one DS sales and it is going to be use a shared data source so we select the shared data source hit OK next we are clicking on a data set and adding a data set provide the name of data set so do call D set sales this data set is going to be embedded in the report and uh, we select data source and paste the query right here. Hit OK. In the design surface, right click and go to insert and then go to the chart. And now under the shapes, uh, you see this pie chart. So there are multiple types of pie chart are available here. So there is pie, there is exploded pie, there is a 3D pie, and there is a 3D exploded pie. There is also donut and exploded donut if you like to use them and in your report and we have further but uh, um, we have a uh, funnel and a 3d funnel and all uh, pyramid and a, uh, 3d pyramid if these are under the shapes so if you would like to use them you can use them but uh, here we will be using pi hit okay now if you see here we see only the categories here and uh, then a circle with the colored with multiple uh, parts so there are multiple parts and each one has its own color so now first of all we will be providing the values and add item sold and next we will be providing the category here I'm going to select the region and let's take a look on the chart right now review the chart and as you can see that we have three region we have Asia Europe and North America and they are colored Europe is colored with the orange and North America is red and Asia is blue it's a good idea to play the display the actual values so we will right click on the chart and say show data labels now we'll see the actual values for each of the category and here we have uh, Europe 19 and uh, North America 11 and uh, Asia 10 at this point we are using only the region for categories we did not use any series group and but we have option to use that one let's go ahead and use that hit on the series group here and click add and then use the series group field so in my case I'm gonna select a country now what happened the category will be divided further into the series group so that's how we will see the values click on the preview and now you can see that we have category Europe and then we have country France and that's displayed with the blue so this is total 17 value and we have Europe in the category and then country is Germany so there are two values for that and if you guys remember there was when we were having only the categories for Europe we were having 19 total so 17 plus 2 so that's 19 next uh, we have Asia India is in the red color and you can see the seven is the value for that one and uh, then we have Asia Pakistan that's uh, the value is uh, three and we have North America that has only one country and value is uh, 11 so that's how you will uh, further divide your uh, pie chart categories into the uh, series group uh, if you like so now if you want to play with uh, this one a little bit uh, let's say you want to name this one sale chart or sale pie chart whatever so you can do it next uh, right click on the on the chart and say change chart type uh, and uh, let's click on uh, exploded pie 
and take a look how it uh, will be displaying. So you see that uh, the part of the child uh, pie is exploded. So all of those parts will be exploded. They will be not connected anymore. And this is how you will see your exploded pie chart. Let's go back under design and uh, right click on the chart, say change chart type again. Now we'll see 3D shape. So we want to see pie in 3D and this is how it will look. This uh, looks pretty better than a simple pie chart and uh, uh, some, sometimes it's a good idea using uh, these different uh, types. So now let's go back and change to the another one and take a look. Change chart type and now we are going to play with the 3D exploded pie. So select that one and you can see that it's simple exploded pie chart but it is in a 3D. So now each part is exploded, they are not connected anymore. If you would like to have a chart like that, you can use the exploded pie chart. Go to design one more time and right click on the chart and change chart type. Now we have donut and exploded donut. So let's try this out as well in the donut. Click OK. And now you see that it is still in pretty much the same uh, pie chart, but there is a hole in between like a donut. So now it is in donut shape. Uh, and the rest of the values uh, look exactly the same, there is no difference. Uh, but uh, um, when we select the full pie, all there was no hole in the middle. But when we se select donut, there would be hole. And uh, the last one uh, is uh, exploded donut. Uh, in that one, each, each series part will be separate. Uh, so now you see that uh, they are not connected anymore, still they are in the donut shape but uh, they are apart from each other. So that's how you will be creating your pie chart uh, in SSRS uh, report. Uh, so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys uh, in next uh, video.